From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Friday, July 4th, 2014. In the news, an 18-year-old Fairbanks man has been charged in connection with the January fire that destroyed the Garrity Street Apartments. A Fairbanks grand jury has indicted 18-year-old Connor Groppel for his alleged role in the fire. The fire destroyed the building and killed two people. The grand jury indicted Groppel on charges of first and second degree murder, manslaughter, arson, and others. At the time of the indictment, Groppel was already in the Department of Corrections custody on other charges. Two people have been charged with first degree theft after allegedly stealing a fiber optic telecommunications trailer. Police say 27-year-old Adam Bloom of Salcha and 39-year-old Scarlett Philippi of Fairbanks stole the trailer from Miranda Electric on Deer Street in the early morning of May 1st. An affidavit says the theft was caught on camera. Neighbors of the two told police Philippi had covered the stolen trailer with a tarp in her yard and that she'd lined up a buyer to purchase it. And Fort Wainwright will pay the EPA $160,000 after the garrison apparently failed to test for suspected leaks in underground tanks. The agency says 19 of the 20 tanks holding liquids like gasoline and antifreeze were out of compliance. No actual leaks were reported, but the EPA asserts that base officials wouldn't have known if one occurred because there was no follow-up on tank monitoring reports. EPA officials say both the Fairbanks and Fort Wainwright drinking water supplies could have been at risk. A quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Flood warning till 2 p.m. tomorrow for the Chena from North Pole to Two Rivers until 7.45 a.m. tomorrow for the Little Chena. Today, sunny skies with highs in the 70s. Tonight, mostly clear, lows upper 40s to lower 50s. Tomorrow, sunny with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Extended forecast, chance of showers or thunderstorms Sunday, increasing clouds and showers Monday through Wednesday. Highs in the mid-70s to 80. That's all we have for right now. I'm glad you could join us. Remember, for more news, sports, or weather, download our free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks very much for watching, and enjoy your Independence Day weekend.